Hey guys, Nathaniel from RC Insight here, and today I've got this. Oh yeah, it does come with a stand, by the way. Um, this is the Perplexus Death Star. Uh, going along with my theme of Star Wars, I'm sorry I haven't posted any RC lately, but I haven't actually had the chance chance to do any bashing. Will shortly, but this is the brand new perplexus star wars death star this is massive this is i think the largest size wise of all the perplexuses and um most definitely the heaviest perplexus um you can see it's very very big it's got kind of a death star look on the outside as you can see uh, up on the top here we've got a little r2d2 model uh, um, down at the bottom here, this is the big feature, this is also why it's heavy. This right here is the big deal, guys. Ready? Wait for it. This is the most awesome perplexus, guys. This is why um, it is 50 bucks, by the way. It is. It does have the LEDs, which is sweet. It's also why it's heavy. It does come with four AAA batteries as well. Part of the reason that it's again 50, 50 bucks. Um, as I said, it is the largest perplexus size-wise, um, but it is not the longest perplexus, or so they say. Uh, this has 115 levels, as opposed to Perplexus Epic, which was 125. But to get an idea, Perplexus Original was 100, Perplexus Rookie was 70, and Perplexus Twist was 30. So this is a uh, a large, a large, large Perplexus, and it's probably the second most difficult as well, next to to uh, Epic, which. I don't think I'll ever be able to finish on camera. I just finally, after mm, years of working on it, finished Epic. So I'm not sure I'll ever get that one on camera. But this one, I'm going to uh, get my walkthrough out on how to solve it just as soon as I solve it, actually. But let's get into the more major parts of the review here. Why this is such a unique perplexus and why it's awesome. Because though obviously it does have the LEDs and the resemblance to some resemblance on the outside to the Death Star, what else about this really pays tribute to Star Wars? And there is a lot, actually. You can see the start is uh, up at the top here. See right there, it says start. Um, and to start, you just kind of have to do something like this. Stuff does get distorted with this uh, glass finish, by the way. Oh, there we go. So you see I just get on there. And then roll it down, and then you're off and running. It'll just fall off. So, what pays tribute to Star Wars? Um, there's a lot of minor stuff on here that just makes the difference. So you can see all the uh, parts that would be just regularly straightaways. Um, example, you know, right here again, something that's just a normal straightaway has machine guns, has a Death Star look to it. Again, you see kind of some grooves and nicks in the path. All just little things that kind of make it look more mechanical, more Star Wars-like. Uh, you'll see down here there is a, a commander officer hat type of thing. There is a point right here where we have where we see Darth Vader's mask. Um, there's also R2D2 on the top, as I mentioned. Now, what does R2D2 on the top do? Um, Around the center of the perplexus, there is an X-Wing pilot, and you turn the R2-D2 on top to move the X-Wing pilot. Now, you think, oh, this is a cool aesthetic. It's not, actually. There are sections where you can... There's a magnet on the bottom part there, and there are sections where it touches the track, so you can get both onto the ship and off to the ship, and it basically, like, will carry you around the map. So that's pretty pretty sweet um, there's not much other really Star Wars -y stuff in it uh, you can also see in the center there 
there's the what I think is supposed to be the shaft which they used to penetrate the Death Star in the original Star Wars movie. So pretty sweet uh, recreation of the Death Star. Hope you guys found this review useful. Like I said, I'll have the uh, walkthrough or uh, how to solve video coming soon. Uh, but until then, thanks so much for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next one.